Throughout the day, we've been visiting many villages and seeing the impact of dirty water, how it has just completely destroyed lives and households. But here in this village, we had our brother Adam, who decided to donate one of these water solar powered wells. Now, what does that mean and what can it actually produce? This housing unit stores 10,000 gallons of water and it can produce that every 45 minutes. And what it then does is uniquely all of this water is then distributed through these pumps and through these pipes into the homes of these people living in this village. But not only that, this village, because of this water well, is able to flourish completely. The people have got a purpose in life. And I want to show you what I mean by that. This community garden is the property of the entire village. They're able to grow all of these crops. Sometimes they eat whatever they need to. The rest of the stuff they can sell at their local market. And then the profits from all of this go back into providing the community with even more benefit. Many of the people are accustomed to just having to go to the toilet and bathroom in the local water sources. What we've been able to do in this village is every single household has now got its own toilet. It means safety for the women. It means happiness for the children. It means hygiene for every single family member in that community. This is what we've been able to do with your kind donations. Now that the community is flourishing, we've got hygiene classes for the women, for the children, for the adults. So it teaches them to stay clean and safe. The simple things like brushing their teeth, clipping their toenails, um, how to drink water. So if it is from a contaminated source, the simple process of boiling their water and then allowing it to cool down will kill all the germs and the bacteria and allow them to live healthier lives. Don't forget this is a desert area, there's snakes, there's all sorts of insects around and in the evenings, everything would come to a complete standstill. But right now, what they're able to do is continue life even when it goes dark. This house is now receiving electric. It's got an air conditioning unit inside. They've got electric in their house, which means it's safe. This is a kitchen farm. This land has been given to one of the households here and they are able to grow their own crops and their own vegetables. This is enough in a desert or a barren area like this where there is no rainfall for them to finally be able to grow their own crops. In no longer having to wonder where their next meal comes from, the children are healthy, the mothers are happy, and the fathers are content that you are providing them with that source of dignity and that source of food. So we're here in a village um, just about maybe five kilometers away from our original village, that model village where we saw everything running so smoothly. There was water, there was crops, there was livelihood, there were children who were happy. And now we've come to this village here where there's approximately 20 families living here or 20 households. This is an example of where our intervention um, hasn't been placed. This is a bathroom. This is where women and children and adults come on a daily basis. Um, so obviously to relieve themselves. There literally is a hole in the ground. There's a smell coming from that hole right now. And their homes are just two or three yards away from um, that open infestation. In these conditions, it can take up to three hours for you to walk over the hills towards that dirty water that they'll be fetching and bringing back to this village. And again, that horrible cycle where they're just providing their own children, their own elderly parents, that dirty water which is making them ill. There is nothing here. The people in this village have no water, no clean sanitation, and they're desperate for your help and your support. Brothers and sisters, we can come forward tonight and we can make this village transform into something which allows people to flourish, give them a purpose of life and allow all of them to live in safety. So let's make that difference tonight.